So, first thing we need to do is to gather our equipment. So, we're going to need our Trilogy ventilator, which we've got here, and we'll go through setting up of that just in a moment. Other bits that we need are our consumables. So, first thing is our ventilator tubing, and our packaging will look like this. Uh, and then it will be our masks, uh, and again, the packaging looks like this. So, before we um, start to actually program our ventilator, the first thing we'll need to do is to take our tubing out of the packaging and prepare that. So, these are a one-size-fits-all ventilator tubing. This is uh, a ventilator that we're using for the purposes of CPAP, continuous positive airway pressure, or for BiPAP, which is biphasic uh, positive airways pressure or spontaneous timed mode but they have the capacity to do lots of other ventilation um, settings. So in order to make sure that our tubing is um, kind of compliant with the CPAP and BiPAP settings, you will notice that when you open whoops, the packaging, that there is this additional piece of tubing here. For our purposes, we do not need this. So the simplest thing to do is just to give a good pull and remove that. And then you have a very small cap here which you can then place over that port there. So now we can discard that piece of tubing and we're now left with our ventilator tubing that we're going to need for our patient. So you can also see there are a couple of key components here. Um, so we have two filters on here. So in patients uh, for an ordinary use of non-invasive ventilation, these two filters are just very simple um, expiratory port filters. Uh, they are, do not work as um, bacterial uh, filters for potentially COVID positive patients. So we may need to add in an additional bacterial antibacterial filter, um, which will be available in your areas. So very simply, this end attaches to your machine. This end then will be uh, the part that we then attach onto our um, ventilator mask with our patient. So very simply then, that is the machine uh, set up and ready to attach to our patient. The next thing we need to do now is to set up the actual parameters on the ventilator itself.